Everybody, it's Jonathan, a.k.a. Senor Smoke, from Curtos in Westchester County. I want to welcome you to the Sanctuary of Smoke here, beautiful and bucolic Yonkers. And, um, you know, this summer, late spring, summer, I've been uh, playing around with a lot of grills and um, kicking the tires, experimenting, trying to break things, disrupt. And funny, it's, uh, I just keep coming back to blue. Blue is my new Kamado friend over here. It is a caliber. Thermoshell Pro Kamado, difference between this puppy and my Primo, Kamado Joe, etc. And that green thing is that it's not ceramic. Okay, it's steel. That's a big, big, big difference. I had an introductory, kind of like a macro overview, 1,000 miles high, if not higher, maybe the 30,000 feet above, looking down, uh, top down look, ready? That was about a month or so ago. I want to get a little more granular now um, as I continue to use this. Um, I actually, on the 4th of July, I decided to make a rack of St. Louis ribs on my Traeger Timberline and then put blue to use on a, uh, on a whole chicken, halved, like the great Curtis Nation's Traeger's barbecue pitmaster taught me how to do. Um, what I am seeing, particularly with the chicken, when cooked on the caliber, I am seeing mind-bending, um, salivating, inducing moistness coming off this grill unlike anything I have ever used. And that, that excuse the cars racing by, that includes the Kamado grills, that includes the pellet grills, that includes any type of grill that I've got in my hands in the last four to five years. There is again, mind-numbing, psychedelic moistness generated by this little beast. And um, I am not a food scientist. I don't purport to be Nathan Mirvold or one of those crazy some bitches. What they do is amazing. And uh, maybe one of these days they can play around with one of this and actually give us a scientific explanation uh, as to what's going on. But I kind of get it though. I think I have, uh, I have my hands grasped uh, around this, my mind as well. What I'm seeing is that there is an incredible amount of steam being leveraged when this grill is cooking away. Now, if you move to the world of indoor premium appliances, steam ovens have been all the rage for about, you know, almost 10 years now, say eight years. Uh, it's used by many of the high-end premium brands. Steam cooking is uh, promoted as being healthier, faster, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It keeps nutrients in the food. Well, nobody's really talked about steam cooking on the outdoor side of things. Um, I don't know if Caliber really decided to do this. They knew they were doing this, so they just backed into it. But again, when I raise the lid on this, when I'm checking things, I am hit with a draft of moisture, of literal steam. I could stand in front of it and get a facial if I wanted. And I really believe that the steam retention in the, uh, in the, in the actual shell, combined with the heat and the direct heat that's going on, because there are no, there are no indirect uh, ceramic plates in here like all of our other friends, like Primo, Kamado Joe, etc. There aren't, I mean, you could basically put the blaze basket in the back for an indirect cook, but you are exposed to the live fire. I think that combination of the fire, along with the steam, is promoting this incredible, incredible moistness in the food that, again, I have not experienced it with anything else. And it's not just me, it's the people that I'm cooking for. Case in point, the chicken. Usually we make chicken, right? It's not really a battle royale to get the breast meat. It's kind of like left there for whoever wants it. I know it's the healthier way to cook, but usually what we're doing is throwing one another in figure four leg locks, try to get to that brown meat, you know, the legs, the drumsticks, etc., the wings. Um, the, with the caliber, that's just not happening anymore. There's actually now a pitched battle to get the breast meat. When I tell you, um, you're cutting in to the breast and there is literal, it's cooked, but it's moist. It smells so, so intoxicating, ready? And then the skin though is still getting that caramelization, that brownness that I want. So there is a very interesting cocktail of chemistry that's going on with this grill that I have not experienced and the other ones that I've been using. So I'm gonna leave you with this little tasty tidbit because I am trying to make these videos shorter. When you are researching your smokers, your pellet grills, your Kamados, et cetera, steam is not 
something that's really coming top of mind. It's probably not there whatsoever. I'm telling you with this bad boy, it is causing a very big difference, a quite delicious difference at that and the food that's coming out of here. I'm seeing it mostly with chicken, but we're gonna start rolling some red meat and some pork in here next and seeing if the results stay the same. Folks, you know the drill. We're here to help. Call us on the phone, though it's a little tricky getting me on the telephone nowadays. Email is usually best. We do ship Caliber nationwide, free shipping, and uh, we stand by the purchase. We're authorized. We have a great relationship with the company and the distributor. We want to put this product in your home and make a great big smoking smile appear on your face. Folks, JonathanAcurtos.com. Keep grilling, keep smoking. More to come on the Caliber Thermoshell Pro. Peace.